Hello, everybody. I'm Angela Hockman, and thank you so much for tuning in to In the Kitchen here on STL TV. Now, on today's episode, we are excited to welcome our guest. We have got Greg Owens, one of the owners of Symbol. Greg, how the heck are you? I'm pretty good. Doing all right. Today. Pretty good. Okay. Not bad. Okay. I'll take that. So, we are very lucky because we've got an exclusive menu item today which actually it's only on the in the kitchen menu. You won't find this on the symbol menu. What are we making today? We are going to be producing a plant-based taco. So plant-based is all the rage, uh, lots of movies, documentaries, eating healthier. Um, this is something that most people are very familiar with is mm -hmm. tacos. We all know, you know, Taco Tuesday. Um, <laughs> it's real. Kids love it. So it's easy to introduce a plant-based item to the kids and they're not going to fuss. Um, mm -hmm. Also, it's really, really simple to do and a lot of stuff is probably in a lot of people's pantries already. Agreed. And you guys, check out the ingredients on the screen there. There are most likely all of these ingredients, like Greg said, at your own home. So feel free to make these, feed them to the entire family. You'll get rave reviews. So Greg, why don't we go ahead and get started okay. on these tacos? We can, sure. Let's so do it. So the only thing we really have left to do is cut up some mushrooms. Okay. And I, I guess if there's anybody out there that just cannot do mushrooms, just skip them. Okay. But they're delicious. Mushrooms so. optional. You heard it first. Do you want to cut or you want me to cut? You cut one and I'll oh. wash and then I will wow. do it. <laughs> wow. I just want to make sure I'm using the symbol technique. The symbol technique? So this is a lot of the I'm technique smooth. that we do in the restaurant. Um, but at the same time, this is something that we actually don't have on our menu. But the idea is clean, whole food eating, as much diversity and as much uh, variety in the dish as we can. You want to try one? I do. I'm okay. ready. Okay. Well, while you do that, Let's we do have this. the oil in the pan. Just a little bit of oil. What type of oil, Greg? Uh, just a vegetable oil. Uh, we okay. use sunflower seed oil um, in the restaurant. It's it's a little bit cleaner. Um, there's a lot of people. We do a lot of health and dietary stuff. So yes. very diet specific menu. Um, and celiac, autoimmune, um, just general vegan, vegetarian. But we we do have meat, so we are not a plant restaurant. We're just very plant forward, plant focused. I appreciate yeah. that. And something, obviously, you are a healthy, fast, casual restaurant with Correct. locations in Kirkwood and Chesterfield. But the philosophy appears to be bringing people of all of these foodie walks of life, whether there's restrictions, preferences. Correct. You can be a vegan, you can be the biggest carnivore in town, and find something we, to eat there. We get all of that. So the idea is that friends and family can eat together. And we yeah. see that over and over and over again, where mm -hmm. there's someone with a specific diet or an ailment, or they're just doing something different. You know, we get a lot of, you know, kids come back from college and suddenly they're vegan, or suddenly right. they're on, or they're somebody, and and, you know, vegan. they have a health issue. Um, everybody can come in and choose their bone bowl and eat their own food. A little bit of oil. And then Ooh. lentils, which I already cooked. You can find canned lentils if you need to, but they cook so easy. Yeah. Um, they're over here, dry, 15 minutes, strain them, oh. you're done. Um, and is there a lot of protein in lentils? Lentils have a good source of protein. The next thing is going in is steel cut oats. Um, again, steel cut, oats. I like the texture. Um, but if you don't have steel cut, you just have old fashioned rolled oats, they can work just fine. So Quaker's okay, but Quaker steel is cut's okay. preferred. Well, they, Quaker does a steel cut. It's just how they, you know, it works. Um, we're gonna let that sizzle for just a little bit. The oats are actually gonna start absorbing the oil and that'll give it a little bit of richness. This is great. I never in a million years would have thought that A, you could make plant-based tacos, but B. That looks good too. That lentils wow. and oats and that mushrooms looks. are going to be the the base of your taco. So, the, yeah, we're, we're simulating texture is what okay. we're doing here. And you can cut up the mushrooms as much as you want. Actually, if you have an egg slicer, mushrooms oh, yeah. work great in an egg slicer. And you can let the kiddo fact. do it. Of yeah. course. Just chop them up, mince <laughs> them up. Um, so we have texture. The oats mm. are gonna absorb some of the fat, the oil that's in there. Okay. Mushrooms are gonna give a little bit of that texture as well the lentils. And really, we're just gonna let that sizzle for a minute. Okay, so just with a little bit of vegetable oil mm -hmm. on what, a medium heat? Uh, I've got medium, medium high. Minutes. Yeah, you want to start hearing it. It'll okay. start sizzling. Um, and Greg, you mentioned the, the buzzword plant-based. Plant-based. You hear that everywhere yeah. nowadays. You what do. is the difference, or is there a difference, between plant-based and vegan? Sock it to me. So plant-based is vegan. Vegan is not necessarily plant-based. Okay, so and there then, is a difference. And then vegetarian is a whole other pseudo thing. Interesting. So the and biggest difference is with plant-based 
it's emphasis on, again, as much variety and as much whole food plant. Okay. A, a, someone who's truly plant-based isn't going out for fake cheese. They're not gonna be doing a lot of processed vegan items. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be going something more like this. Something Interesting. that is Interesting, so less more packages, whole food. more whole. Anti-package, yeah. Wow. They don't like the package, so. Yeah, it's, um, it, and it's, really, it's more of a diet that, honestly, our great, our grandparents, great grandparents, they would have been more like that. Okay. Protein until recently is very expensive. Yeah, you and know, the fact, I mean, people might not know you can get protein a million other ways besides this meat. This has a nice not amount of protein, in, especially when it's going to go into the corn tortilla. Oh, sure. So they're, they're using more. But the next step, and while this is doing its thing, it um, we do have our own spices. At Symbol, we make almost everything in house, and wow. we're very transparent. Yes. And we're really kind of, you know, we're a little cocky and proud about it. So yeah. when you go to the, the register, if you're on something super specific or just have a preference, all the ingredients are listed there. Um, we keep things very simple and clean. This recipe has very few ingredients. I noticed. Yeah, and um, everything out here, again, no packages. No packages. <laughs> Fresh food. I mean, I did, in the summer when tomatoes are ripe, I would have grabbed a couple of tomatoes, popped them in a blender instead of using a canned tomato. We'll it's let this it's canned this tomato time. season. Um, <laughs> we did choose one, however, that is tomatoes is the first ingredient. Look at your canned tomato products. Really? Okay. Especially okay. a lot of them, tomato paste with water added. Again, I never would have thought. I would have thought no, tomato there, paste is tomato paste. Oh, you no. don't ask questions. No, once it goes into this little can or a package, all bets are off as to what actually is in there. Wow. That's why as much as possible at the restaurants, we use the raw ingredient. Wow. I, I just think it's, it's so thing. amazing, and I love how inviting you all are towards yeah. all walks of life. So you don't everybody's have to feel got, like an oddball. Everybody's got to eat, right? Gluten free. So Greg, why don't we let that yeah. simmer for just a second? We are going to take a quick break, but when we come back, I hope you're hungry. We are going to finish up these tacos, and we're going to meet the other owner of Symbol. We'll see you in a second. Welcome back to In the Kitchen. I am joined here by my new friend, Mr. Greg Owens, one of the owners of Symbol, and will be joined by the other owner very shortly. So Greg, let's talk about what we added because we just couldn't wait for the next segment. No, so real real fast, all we add was the uh, tomato. Okay. So the tomato, uh, one little jar, and then the spice blend. So probably not really in order that's on, you know, on the recipe, but sea salt, a little bit of cumin, mm. paprika, just your regular old chili powder. Okay. Um, onion, oregano, white pepper, and garlic. And that's it. That is your infamous slash famous yeah, taco pretty, seasoning. Uh, you know, I'll take it. Yeah, it's mine. But yeah. it's very common. It's, it's great for not only this, but anything else that you're doing this, tex mex or anything like I that. I get it. So yeah, it's uh, good to go. And then basically <laughs> add that, and it cooks down. The mushrooms cook down. Um, the oats are in there still. The seasoning's in there still. You can, you know, if you need to, smash it up a little bit to hide some of that. So if you have a picky kid. But by the time gotcha. you get it in there, uh, into our tortilla, which we can go ahead and do. Beautiful way to sneak in some yeah, veggies. I have soft. to say, those mushrooms just look perfectly cut. They, uh, whatever. <laughs> so. Okay. Um, and then, you know, just 
And that's it. That's it. That's it. Um, I have shredded cabbage. Um, if you don't want to, you know, if you don't want to, uh, slaw mix. You can buy shredded lettuce mm -hmm, if you're more mm -hmm. into lettuce. I like it. Uh, it stands up to the heat. Um, it's a little bit sweeter. Nice to have a little crunch. A little bit too, of crunch. And, tacos. Okay, this is not plant based, but it's cheese because <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a taco and it needs cheese. We're just keeping uh, it real. Yeah, today. So, yum. It's all you. Okay. You get to go let's on camera. Don't make a mess. <laughs> no pressure. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to check your work. Mm. Would you eat two? I eat five. Okay, five. Well, that works. Good. Good. And it's simple, easy. Mm. You know, your kids can help measure out the spices. You know, oh like I said, they, they can do almost all of this. This is very easy. And, and literally, this was 10 minutes. And you don't even miss the meat. Nope. Magical. It would not be a complete episode of Featuring Symbol without the dynamic duo. We've had the pleasure of chatting with Greg. Now we've got the lovely Becky Schoenig. Becky, how are you? Good, thank you. Thank you for having us. Oh, we, we're thrilled. I just, I honestly love your philosophy and just the meaning and the passion behind Symbol. You can tell you guys cook out of love. Thank you. That's the biggest compliment I think we can always it's get. It's true. And so Becky, you have a very unique background. While it's not necessarily culinary, it's more life coaching and being intuitive. Yeah, it's people. People are my skills kitchen is his skills okay. and together we felt like we created symbol together what a perfect balance so what made you two decide to open symbol oh that's a crazy conversation probably he was Let's frustrated <laughs> in the in the industry yeah. um, I had always had a passion for it I sure. saw community in restaurants I saw a connection in restaurants and for me oftentimes it was doing networking and mm -hmm. other people's restaurants and cafes and I said if this is the network I have, how expansive could a network be yeah. when you open your doors to strangers? What could it be? And I feel like the environment that you two have established at Symbol, again, just the fact that you invite all walks of life, whatever culinary path you're on, you can sit down around a table and enjoy a meal together. Yeah. We've taken the philosophy in growing the business mm -hmm. that we work for our employees and our employees work for our community. Oh, that's beautiful. And there is honestly so much more than just the bowls, which are an amazing thing on the menu. You build them, you add your protein, your base, your sauce. But what else does Symbol offer that people might not know? <laughs> well, <laughs> minus the smiles all the time <laughs> when they come in and order. Um, we do the, our wraps and salads. We also um, package our dressings and some of our sauces. And then our restart kit, which is our three-day juice cleanse detox program which I mean you get a tremendous amount of fruits and vegetables just in three days by doing that cleanse yeah the unique part about um, that cleanse is that with most juices you have a lot of fruits added into oh, it yes we don't have any fruit added into it so you're really just getting the vegetables and then we've added a, a protein and fats into it as well so that you feel like you're full through the day Wow and so Becky how would you say you apply your sort of intuitive eating or life coaching to, you know, enjoying these customers every day? Wow, well, I, have to, I actually <laughs> have to be cautious that I don't um, just spew a whole lot of information, but it's really about building the relationships. Mm -hmm. And through the relationship building, we have gained so much trust. I mean, our, our recipes and our ingredients are so transparent that people yes. just become so transparent with us. And um, you're just guided through some really cool and interesting conversations with everybody. And I just, I love that it's such a safe place for people to come and just be who they are, enjoy a meal, make a friend, and just be, <laughs> be true to yourself. And yeah. you know, soak up the good stuff. And this is what life's belly. all about. Yeah. Get a full belly, yes. Oh gosh, so you guys, is there anything else about the restaurant that people might not know that you'd like to share? Oh wow, inside secrets. Just Oftentimes, one more final so tip. I would say this, if you ever see me sitting at a table, and it looks like I'm working, it's usually code for you have permission to come talk to me and interrupt. Okay. If I'm really needing to get work done, I'm usually in the basement gotcha. hiding. You gotta hide. <laughs> That's how you get work done. Yeah. And um, I think most people are surprised at when I'm on the schedule working where I'm actually working at, and it's usually at the Got dish it. at the dish station. Okay, well speaking of working, we cannot let that taco no. meat just sit there. You guys, no, no. let's assemble these. They've got two amazing locations. Check them out in both Chesterfield and Kirkwood. And seriously, that website is where it's at. They've got merchandise, they've got a podcast, they sell all of their sauces, and 
Greg lists a few secret recipes. There's a few. There's a few, and I think I'm gonna have to make them at home. And of course, follow them on social. When you're there, take pictures of those beautiful bowls. Post them, use a fun hashtag. You guys, thank you so much for being guests on our show. We're really thankful. Appreciate it. We are also wildly thankful for our sponsor. We've got Cozy Bear Creations that makes our show possible. They are this really cool local wood carving company. They make things like toys, bow ties, anything you can imagine on a piece of wood, they can create it. Even our beautiful in the kitchen sign. So thank you, Cozy Bear Creations, and make sure to follow them on Instagram and Facebook and check them out. You guys, that's a wrap. I'm starving. Thank you again. Thank all of you for joining us on this edition of In the Kitchen, where you experience St. Louis. Also, keep up with us. Follow us on all things social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. That's the place to be. So you'll have to stick around and see what's going on on the next episode. We'll see you then.